Hola chicos, Harry here from Chat Spanish, teaching you useful Spanish things. What is the difference between cien and ciento? When are you going to use cien? When are you going to use ciento? Let's have a look. So the important thing to know is that they both mean 100. Cien means 100. Ciento also means 100. Cien we use when only referring to the number 100. All right. So when you're just talking about 100, we're going to use cien, the word cien. But if it's more than 100 and it involves 100, so for example, 112, 140, whatever, we're going to use ciento. Okay. So cien, just 100, and ciento, more than 100. And we'll look at some examples now to make this crystal clear. So cien. Hay cien libros en la caja. There are 100 books in the box. So it's cien here because it's just the number 100. That's it. There's no, it's not 101, 158. It's just 100. Okay. So cien only referring to 100. Ciento, on the other hand, let's have a look here. Hay ciento uno libros en la caja. There are 101 books in the box. So here it's more than 100. It's 101, but obviously it still involves the word 100. It's 100 and one. And so the 100 here is going to be ciento, not cien, because it's more than 100. It's 101. And note as well in Spanish, they don't have that and in here. It's not ciento y uno. It's just ciento uno. 101 or 112, 112. So the and is translated in English, but not in Spanish. That's a common mistake, okay? So never translate the and. So it's going to be ciento here because it's more than 100. There we go. But there are a few little exceptions uh, we could say here. Cien mil, cien millones, cien mil millones. 100. We know CN is 100, 100,000, 100 million, and 100,000 million, 100 billion. So this is key. In Spanish, instead of billion, they say mil, millones, thousand million. And here you could say, yes, Harry, cien mil. Why, why is it cien? Because it's over 100. It's 100,000. And I understand that. But here, it's just going to be cien. That's the rule we have uh, in front of mil and millones and mil millones. And to be honest, this is something I think you guys will get used to. Ciento mil, ciento millones, ciento mil millones. It just doesn't, once you get into the language, it doesn't sound right. Okay. So it's cien mil, cien millones, cien mil millones. And if you were to have cien mil veinte, one hundred thousand and twenty. We're going to continue the cien mil, but if you're going to have 120,000, it's ciento veinte mil. All right. So that's just a something you'll get used to. But this is obviously a bit more rare, but still important to note. But in general, cien is just when you're referring to 100 and ciento is anything more than 100. So I hope that's clear. And please do subscribe. It means the world to me. Give this video a like, leave some comments below, any other questions, any other examples you want me to go through, let me know. I do have a great video as well below on the difference between preguntar and pedir, which I think you should check out. So give that one a watch as well. Hasta luego chicos, chao.